I became religious, and it's a much longer story, and I wrote a book about it once if you want to check it out. Um, but I became religious when I was living in Washington, D.C. I kind of went down there at the last minute. I was in college, but I thought I wasn't going to go there because I wasn't going to enroll, and then I did enroll, and and I was I didn't have a place to live. And so for about a month and a half, I was like traveling around and sleeping on different people's couches. Um, and that was right when I started to think about becoming religious and being like, is this a good idea? Is this what I want to do with my life? Do I really need to like devote an extra hour every morning to like telling God how good God is because what God doesn't already know? Um, but it gave me this rhythm and it gave me a stability and it wasn't a miracle at all. But it was something that, like, apparently my ancestors had been doing for millions of years or something, and it felt really good to me, and, and it felt like the right thing. And, like, I would wake up every morning, and I would pray, and, and I would wake up in different places every day, and, and there, were, there were a few miracles that did happen. I would be sleeping on, I, I would, it would be, like, 12.30 at night, and I wasn't sure where I was going to sleep that night. And then all of a sudden, I'd run into a friend that I hadn't seen in five years, and I'd be like, what? You're living in Washington, D.C.? And they'd be like, you're living in Washington, D.C.? And I'd say, I'm not actually living in Washington, D.C. I mean, I'm here, but I don't have a place to sleep tonight. And they would say, come over. I have a guest bedroom, or I have a guest couch, or um, I have a guest sukkah, which happened. So every night, I would find a different place to sleep, and all of a sudden, it, it became more than chances. I wouldn't call it a miracle because a miracle is a big word and I feel like I'm not worthy of being miracled. But I don't know, from being like totally outside my life of being, you know, you're used to having like a place to eat food and a place to sleep at night and all of that and, and just not having anything and seeing the way that like one way or another it ends up, you, you end up surviving enough to carry on to the next day. That really felt like I don't want to say like God was watching over me because that's cheesy, but it, it felt like there was a design to my life. It felt like I wasn't writing my own story. It was being written for me.